looking for something? Huh? Oh, no. Oh, I thought you might have lost something. No. Good. Hey, Kate. Hmm? Did you find something? You lose something? Maybe. Well, if you don't know if you lost it, I don't know if I found it. Well, Kate, I, I, I didn't lose it. I, I hid it. Hid what? What I hid. Well, what was it? Well, if I wanted you to know, Kate, I wouldn't have hidden it. <laughs> Makes sense. If you found any money, it's mine. Money? Uh, $15. I, I hid it under my Indian. Where did you get $15? Did you find it? No. Then never mind where I got it. Here. Hold it. Wait, Uncle Joe! Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Where did you get that money? I earned it. Doing what? Using my head. Of all the lame brain, half-baked schemes you ever come up with, Joe, this one really takes the cake. Yeah, we want our money back. What'd you do? You fellas are reneging on your investments. The plan ain't even in operation yet. You're darn right it ain't, and it ain't gonna be. Well, what'd you do? What'd you do? I'll tell you what I did. I dreamed up a million-dollar scheme. Make Hooterville the fishing paradise of the county. He was gonna stock the creek with fish. Well, what's wrong with that? Halibut? <laughs> Uncle Joe, give them back their money. What's wrong with halibut? What's wrong with halibut? I never caught one of them in the creek. Because halibut is a saltwater fish. <laughs> I know that, and you know that. But the fishermen don't know that. Give them back their money. I can't, Kate. It's in escrow. Well, put your hand in your pocket and get it out of escrow. <laughs> That's a good book. There's your five. That's mine. How you know? It had that feller's picture on it. Here. There's your five, Sam. Where's mine? I gave you yours. I gave it to Floyd. Well, that's between you and him. You know, I'm surprised at you, Sam. Smart businessman investing $5 in one of Uncle Joe's schemes. Well, I thought it was a good idea until I found out about the halibut. Well, I just don't understand you being taken by Uncle Joe. Now, how much was it? Oh. Well, what's that, Kate? I forgot I took this. This is my first with the built-in burglar alarm. I never saw one of those. It's the only one in the valley. Where'd you get that, Kate? I bought it from the inventor. <laughs> oh. Come on, Uncle Joe. Throw a little salt in that creek, them halibut wouldn't have known whether they were in the Atlantic or the Pacific. Uncle Joe, no more schemes. But, Kate. No more schemes. All I'm trying to do is make an honest living. Have you ever thought of work? Getting 15 bucks out of them tight wads wasn't play. Well, nevertheless, you're going to promise me that you're through with these get rich quick schemes. Well, okay. Promise me I'm a burglar alarm purse. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Can't you see there ain't no train coming? <laughs> Quiet, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Cut that out, I'm trapped. <laughs> oh, hi, Hector. How are you, Joe? All right. Can you lend me a dollar, Joe? I'll see you around, Hector. <laughs> Please, Joe, I need it real bad. What do you want it for? Shaving the haircut? Going to a party? No, I just need a haircut. I seen you in the barber shop less than two weeks ago. I uh, know. I've been hair sprouting like everything. I guess it must be all this year goat's milk I've been drinking lately. It can't be anything else. Been eating anything different? No. Same as always, raw turnips and greens, and once in a while, a slow rabbit. <laughs> I guess the feller who had sold me this here goat must have been telling the truth. What do you mean by that? He said he is as bald as an American eagle till he started drinking goat's milk. Sounds like a story I had to come up with about an hour ago before my retirement. <laughs> Can you lend me the dollar, Joe? You say this fellow is as bald as an American eagle? Yeah. The dollar? Be unpatriotic to lie about the American eagle, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Uh, how about the dollar, Joe? I'm suffocating in all this here hair here. Victor, how long you and me been friends? Ooh, 10, 15 years? And during all that time, I've never lent you any money, have I? No, uh-uh. That's why we've been friends. 
And I'm not going to start being unfriendly now. <laughs> so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll give you a dollar for the goat. It ain't for sale. Well, I'll see you around here. Buck and a quarter. So long, Joe. I'll give you a buck and a half, and that's as far as I'll go to try and make you friendly. That ain't very friendly. How friendly are you aiming for me to be? Dollar sixty-five. So. <laughs> Now keep your eye on him. It's a million dollar property. Oh, hi, Uncle Joe. Hi, Kate. Can I help you? What did you say? Can I help you? Did you feel all right? Of course I do. Here, let me do that. Kate, I've been thinking. Ah, uh -huh, you are sick. I don't know what I could have had in mind when I wanted to stock that creek with halibut. Fifteen dollars, that's what you had in mind. Kate, you're a wonderful woman for putting up with me. All right, what's the scheme? What scheme? The one you're buttering me up for. <laughs> I don't blame you for being suspicious, but I just wanted to show my appreciation. For being suspicious? No, for putting up with me. To show you how grateful I am, I got you a present. A present? Don't say nothing. Just accept it as a token of my gratitude. Well, that's very nice of you. Well, why don't you bring it in and I'll unwrap it? Well, uh, ain't the unwrapping kind. <laughs> well, what kind is it? Mom, quick! Go, go, go away, go away! <laughs> Hurry up, help! Get that goat out of the yard! Kate, that's your present. My present! I just wanted to give you something to remember me by. I'll have something to remember you by. Your empty room. <laughs> Will somebody please help us? Ah, oh, he's just playing. Uncle Joe! Quick, hurry, somebody! I'll handle this. Let go, let go. Give me that thing. Give me that thing. <laughs> Burn that, that blasted, miserable goat. Well, he was just playing. Hey, come back with our dog. Hold still. You're making history. This is the first batch of Carson's grow, grow, grow hair grower. <laughs> Quiet. You're a silent partner. Come here. Here. Now, hold that, otherwise you're out of the company. <laughs> Mom, my best dress. Uncle Joe. Now, don't blame me, it was his fault. <laughs> I told him to keep his eye on the goat, but you can't give him any responsibility. Get rid of him. All right, you heard her. Pack your bones and get out. Of <laughs> him, the goat. Don't you like your present? I like it, but I also like my sheets and towels. And your pillowcases and my party dress. Well, he's got a good appetite. He's a growing goat. Just one more thing. Mom! Mom, come out here quick! What's the matter? The goat's eating the porch! <laughs> Uncle Joe, you got to get rid of that goat. But I gave it to you as a present. Fine, then I'll get rid of it. Why do you want to get rid of it? Because it... The least you can do is stop eating while we're talking about you. <laughs> you don't want to get rid of that goat. Oh, yes, I do. Gee, that's a valuable goat. Wait till I tell you what it can do. I know what it can do. You won't believe this, but that goat can grow hair. Most goats can. I mean, on human people. It's worth a million dollars. Uncle Joe, you promised on my burglar alarm purse that you wouldn't get mixed up in any more schemes. Hey, this ain't no scheme. I've stumbled on the secret of the century. Well, when you stumbled, you must have hit your head. Have you any idea what it's like to be bald? Well, no, thank goodness. Well, according to the reports on baldness from the FBI... The FBI! Are they on your trail already? Federal Barbers Institute. 
There's over three million bald heads running around the country looking for ways to grow hair, and I've got it. And you can keep it. <laughs> Let's see. Carson's Grow, Grow, Grow Hair Grower. Let's see, I figure at two dollars a bottle, that makes... Eighteen million dollars. Plus a nickel deposit on every bottle. Uh, well, here are your linens, Kate. I'm sorry I don't carry porch rails. <laughs> <laughs> you know I wish I could laugh, Sam. But that goat has eaten me out of house and hotel. If I could teach Uncle Joe a lesson, I might cure him once and for all. You got any ideas? Frankly, no. You have any? Well, I've... No. Do that again. What'd I do? You just gave me an idea. I did? I thought Sam would be a great idea for my first customer. Your first customer? That's my goat. Who got the idea of milking it for millions? Well, you did. And I should make us equal partners. 75% for me, 25% for you. <laughs> well, doesn't sound very equal to me. Well, you own the goat. Well, if I own the goat, then I should get 75%. But I take care of all the production, the bottling, the promotion, the selling. 50-50. Okay, but remember, leave the selling of Sam to me. You think you ought to? He's probably still holding that halibut over your head. Don't worry about Sam. I can outshrewd him any day in the week. <laughs> Morning, Kate. Hi, Joe. Hi, Baldy. <laughs> you noticed. Except for the fringe benefit, you're as bald as an American eagle. <laughs> Joe, if there was something that would grow hair, I'd pay up to two dollars a bottle for it. Don't be so anxious. <laughs> oh, uh, what I mean is, I'd pay anything up to two dollars a bottle for it. <laughs> Sam, it's a lucky thing for you I dropped in here this morning. I'll take it. Take it easy. I mean, I'll take it as a favor if you'll tell me why it's lucky that you dropped by here this morning. Is that better? Oh, much. <laughs> Sam, guess what this is? I'll take it. I'll admit it looks like ordinary milk. But don't let appearances deceive you. This is Carson's Grow, Grow, Grow Hair Grower. If I took this to a research chemist, what do you think he'd find? I'll take it. One magnum of nesium. <laughs> ten centipedes of potassium and other rare elements of chemistry, too numerous to mention. Sold. And the price of this extra large one ounce bottle is sold. Don't you want to even know how much it costs? No, I just want to start sprinkling it on my head. <laughs> it ain't a sprinkler, it's a drinker. Oh, how much is it? Well, seeing as you're one of my closest ball friends, I'll let you have it at cost. Two dollars. Two dollars? Joe, if that'll do what you say it'll do, it's worth more than that. Well, two and a half, including the bottle. Two dollars? <laughs> Joe, you got a gold mine here. How about taking me in as a partner? I've already got a partner. Kate. Kate? Well, then it must be good. Mm -hmm. You be sure to drink every drop. Yeah, and when you wake up in the morning, don't be surprised if you find fuzz where your hair once was. That's our slogan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Joe... I'll never forget you for this. <laughs> Hi, Kate. Hi there. Didn't anyone ever teach you to take your hat off when a woman gets on the train? Ain't nothing like that in the conductor's rules. It's in the politeness's rules. Take it off. Oh, hi, Baldy. <laughs> Baldy, will you? Take it easy, Floyd. He called me Baldy. Ain't nobody calls me that and gets away with it. Boy, there's no need to be called Baldy anymore. What you need is a bottle of this. What's that? Carson's Grow, Grow, Grow Hair Grower. Only $3 a bottle. Sam bought a bottle, didn't he, Kate? He certainly did. Yeah, Sam was the first one to fall for the halibut swindle. Yeah, I may be dumb, but I ain't gonna waste my money on that kind of junk. Okay, check with Sam later and see what happens to him. <laughs> it ain't possible. <laughs> Yes, it is, with Carson's Grow, Grow, Grow hair grower. Which sure grow, grow, grow. And you said it's the same as a halibut swindle. I gotta get me a bottle of that before Joe sells out. Uh, Floyd, there's no hurry. Yes, there is. I don't want to be the only skinhead in town. <laughs> Joe's tonic don't work. Well, it sure worked on you. Uh, this ain't mine. <laughs> Do you mean that this is just another one of Joe's get-rich-quick schemes? Yeah. <laughs> you sure it ain't real? No. Me and Kate are just teaching Joe a lesson. It don't work. 
No, it don't. Uh, you fellas could help us out. Now, here's what you could do. Doggone it. I was fixing to buy myself a brush and comb. <laughs> to the top, Uncle Joe? Of course not. What do you think I painted the bottles white for? <laughs> How's the sign? Well, it's still a little wet, Uncle Joe, so be careful. Look at this, Kate. Your new life is about to begin. You'll have curly locks where you once had skin. <laughs> what do you think of it? Very moving. <laughs> just had to come here and show you what you did for me. How do I look? <laughs> Change the sign of $15. <laughs> well, I gotta get going. I got a date at the barber shop to get my hair cut instead of tweezed. <laughs> Gee, it worked, it worked. It worked like a charm. You should have seen the expression on Joe's face. <laughs> We'll have to start milking twice a day to get more bottles. Howdy. Lloyd, is that you? Let me look. Yeah, it's me. Handsome devil, ain't I? <laughs> Joe, I don't know how to thank you. I would all to hire grow grow. I didn't sell you any. No, Sam had a few swigs left in the bottle, and he sold them to me for three dollars. He can't do that. He ain't an authorized dealer. Where are you going? Tell Sam to butt out. Nobody sells grow grow except me, me. Floyd, where did you get that wig? From Sam, but it looks better on me. But if Uncle Joe sees Sam without his wig, there's going to be more exposed in Sam's head. <laughs> Floyd, give me that. No, you got your own hair. It's the first time in years I've had any. Floyd, you're going to ruin the whole plan. Give me that. Where's the dog? Oh, here, boy. Take this down to Sam at the train. <laughs> Hey, cut it out. Look. <laughs> Joe must be coming. Quick. <laughs> oh, hi, Joe. Now, look here, Sam Drucker. You've got to stop infringing. Well, I'd be glad to, but that grow, grow, grow is powerful stuff. I mean, you gotta stop selling it without a franchise. It's my bottle. I can do what I want with it. All right. Just for that, I won't sell you anymore, no matter how much you beg. <laughs> What's the matter? Strange how that goat specializes in that one hairstyle. <laughs> uh, hey, Joe, tell Floyd to get on down here. We gotta pull out. Okay. Quick, give this to Floyd. <laughs> Watch where you're going, you clumsy dog. What you got in your mouth? Looks like a chipmunk to me. <laughs> what are you doing that for? Publicity. After all, people aren't going to know our hair grower really works unless they see it with their own eyes. Yeah, I never thought of that. Of course, we should have a picture of Sam, too. <laughs> After all, two heads of hair are better than one. <laughs> well, how are you going to take a picture of Sam when I'm... Uh, you're going to go get him, aren't you, Uncle Joe? Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Here, take this to Mr. Drucker. <laughs> I don't understand what you're doing. When Joe gets back, he's going to see me this way. No, he won't, because you'll be upstairs combing your hair. Well, how can I be combing my hair when Sam's wearing it? Sorry, upstairs. Oh, still. You going to give me a franchise? Yeah. Well, OK. Snap it. I'll get the film developed for you. I got one more picture. Do you want to take mine? No, you ain't a hair grower product. <laughs> hey, what we ought to do is take a picture of you and Floyd together. Ooh, that ought to be interesting. Where is he? Upstairs, combing his hair. I'll get him, Joel. I want to comb my hair, too. Hey, 
<laughs> I ain't had so much fun in years. Wonder if Joe's got in that brilliant team. Oh, come on, Floyd, they're waiting for you. Where's Sam? This is no way to run a million dollar enterprise. I'm getting. <laughs> Uh, already. Where's Floyd? Uh, combing his hair. I'll get him. Here, Floyd. Very funny. <laughs> and you owe me two dollars I paid you for that phony hair grower. You sold it to Floyd for three. Yeah, I forgot about that. You also owe him three. How much did the wig cost? Well, that was a Halloween special, six ninety-five. Well, you better put that on the bill too. <laughs> that brings it to eleven ninety-five. And Uncle Joe, the next time you get another harebrained scheme, Sam is going to print this on the front page of the Hooterville World Guardian. Hi, Hector. Howdy, Miss Bradley. Uh, hi there, Joe. Uh, is Joe still mad at me? You're darn right I am. Quit waking me into thinking that goat was a hair grower. Well, she is. Now, let's not start that again, huh? You got your goat back. Where's my dollar sixty-five? Well, that's what I come to talk to you about. I was on my way over here yesterday to give it to you when I ran into this feller who wanted to sell me his fishing pole. <laughs> so I bought it. <laughs> Ain't it a beaut? Oh, <laughs> it certainly yeah. is. The feller said it'd catch anything. Uh, would it be all right if I paid you off in fish? Would you catch any? <laughs> the crick is crawling with them. Uh, tell me, uh, would you like a big one or a little one? Well, a big one if you can spare it. Already? <laughs> oh, well, say. What is that? That's a halibut. <laughs> halibut? Hector, wait, wait! <laughs> oh, you better get used to the smell of this. I got a feeling that Hooterville's gonna be the halibut capital of the world. <laughs> This has been a Filmways presentation.